This is just like a talking point, I guess. Uh, editing has wrecked my ability to enjoy books. I think editing the first draft of my book broke my brain. For the last six months, I've been incapable of reading a book for fun. It's like I'm almost stuck in edit mode. My brain automatically picks up on awkward phrasing and instances of unnecessary adverbs and weird dialogue and excessive description. Once that starts, it's, imp it's impossible to enjoy the story and I don't know how to switch it off. I took a break from reading, but I still catch myself doing it months later. It's even made it hard to work on something new and I wind up pondering a sentence I wrote two days ago instead of moving forward. How does, uh, does this happen to anyone else? How do you snap yourself out of it? Hmm. So I'll, I'll talk about the second part, this last point first. So what I'd say to that is, um, finish a chapter, uh, or a part or whatever. So that next time you come back to write, you just start writing a new thing. And you don't even have to look at the old thing. You could even make a new document to start writing. And you just never have to look back at the old the old work you did the day before or whatever. And that way it shouldn't be such a problem to, to get caught up in editing old stuff before you finished, uh, before you even start writing. Um, yeah, because that can be a bit of a rabbit hole you can get sucked down into. The uh, presentation data. On the other hand, it can be hard to like get back into the writing the next day if you've got nothing to go on. So have some um, have some plan for the next thing. Maybe even just like write a line of the next chapter to kind of get yourself going to have like instead of needing to start you've already kind of started the previous day uh, and that will help you like get back into writing instead of needing like half an hour to remind remind yourself of where the story is going if you if you're a outliner then maybe that's not necessary but if you're a discovery writer like i kind of am then that might be necessary but then for the bulk of it yeah, this is a thing that happens, for sure. Uh, it can definitely be annoying, like if, because there's a, a lot of writing out there that isn't perfect and that you find annoying. Like some people don't like certain um, writers, and because it's just not their jam. But as you become a writer and um, edit your own stuff and start noticing these things yourself then that list of writers you like to read might become smaller and maybe the story is good enough that you keep going with those books anyway or maybe you just can't stand it and have to stop but it's it's kind of another way of looking at this is that you're developing your taste um, in good writing which means but it's kind of more to do with style like the style of writing that you like because clearly if there's a published author, someone likes that style. Uh, but the way you write is becoming more solidified in your own mind. So when you see a style of writing that doesn't fit with that, and you're used to correcting it into your own style, then your mind can go down that route. But uh, I think it kind of eases up. It might take a few years. <laughs> but it can kind of ease up, and then you are able to kind of brush over problems you see and stylistic changes you would make and allow yourself to immerse back into 
the story better. Um, a similar thing happened with me, so but, but more in terms of films I watched. And it's still kind of a problem now, like quote-unquote problem, where I watch a film and some people m might watch it and notice, not really think anything's wrong with it. Some people might watch it and and not be that into it and they don't know why. Some people might hate it and don't know why. If you're a writer, you often know why is the problem. So you can notice these things much quicker and know why, know the problem and sometimes know the solution that they, the writers of the film should have put into place before it was made. But that's kind of where I've noticed it in myself is watching films and being annoyed by poor writing. Um, it's, it's especially irking when you know the solution and it's so simple, like some small change. When, uh, for example, the film, I think it's called The Passengers. Passengers. So the, the trailer for Passengers showed her waking up and no one else waking up. And then finding him. And you can imagine, so, uh, spoilers for passengers, so, look out. Uh, so it turns out that he woke up before her, and woke her up, which is like a big moment for her, but for us in the film, we see him wake up first, he's around for a while and goes a bit crazy, and then wakes her up so he's not alone and doesn't go crazy. And then she finds out, but we don't... It's not really a big deal to us because we already have known since the beginning of the film. But if the film went along the line of the trailer, I feel like it would have been a lot better writing for this story because that moment would have been huge because she finds this out and we find it out and we are both shocked at the same time, which is a lot more intense for the audience. Yeah, and then, I mean, it has some problems in the third act with the fixing the ship or whatever, but that's the main thing. So that was super frustrating because my my mind retroactively fixed that, and it's like a mind-blowing film um, with this huge twist that the trailer kind of hinted at being the case, but then it was edited to be the other way around, and it was way less cool. Um, but anyway, on the other hand, I do enjoy films that aren't kind of highbrow writing -y films that are more fun, and I just don't really care about the writing and stuff. But it took me a while to be able to just accept that the film is um, just fun and just have fun with it. So it might go off, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Yeah, if you if you want to like get in touch about writing matters, you can DM me here and maybe you can like if you wish you can send me a thing for me to give feedback on in one of these streams. Uh yeah, that's the end of that. Thanks again and I'll um see you next time.